This review is of a Mercedes-Benz Actros, which is configured as a snowplow and grit spreading machine. It comes in a Conrad branded box and inside the packaging materials are typical for Conrad models like this. Also, as is often the case, there's no instructions for the model and there's nothing about the real truck either. So what do you get inside the box? Well, there's the snowplow, which is separate, and there's the truck, which has the spreading equipment mounted on board. Also provided is a bag of small parts that have to be fitted. There was a problem with the review model in that the two headlamps which are positioned above the snowplow were missing, but these were quickly supplied separately. Fortunately, fitting the headlights in is dead easy because they're a tight fit and they just press into the holes in the cab. With the two headlights fitted, the review model is then restored to the delivery condition it should have been in. The Actros cab needs mirrors and roof aerials fitting, so the first thing you have to do is to separate them using a sharp modelling knife. And assuming you haven't cut your fingers off, you can then install the mirrors into the cab. They fit into preformed holes and the fit on this model is good enough that they don't easily drop out. There's an additional mirror that also fits over the passenger side door. And with the main door mirror fitted, then all the mirrors are fitted on the truck. Next to fit is the roof aerials and because they're made of soft plastic and the holes are tight, it's best to use a pair of tweezers just to force the aerials in. And another small part to fit is the hook, which fits onto the end of the loading crane. The snowplow blade has a couple of warning flags that just get clipped into each side. And once you're flagged up, you can install the snowplow on the front of the truck. And it's easy enough to do, any snowman could do it, you just hook it into the plate on the front. And you then just push it down and it clicks into place to form a good connection. There's one more piece to fit to the model and that's at the back. And it's a warning sign that fits to the spreader. It's not obvious where it goes, but if you fold the spreader down, then you can offer the warning sign up and it just lightly clips into place. If you don't want to spread any stuff around at the moment, you can carefully fold the spreader back up and as long as you're gentle, the sign will stay clipped in place. Looking at the Actros chassis detail, and it's good on this model with the transmission fully modelled. The tyres are the same on both axles and the steering is modelled for functionality. The wheels are nice with fine detailing including the wheel nuts. The beacon lights on the roof look good and it's also nice to see that the door handles in the cab door have separate inserts. The snowplow blade is mainly a metal part with reinforcing plates at the bottom edge and there's a plastic guide chute at the top. The fuel tank is a chromed metal part and the wheel arch is a realistic plastic piece, just like the real truck. The loader crane is plain in the sense that it has no markings, but the lower boom sections are metal. The telescopic boom sections are plastic, and the brass connection rivets would have looked better painted. The spreading equipment is quite heavy because although the cover and other parts are plastic, the engine at the front and the main hopper is all metal. At the back, the access ladder and handrail are metal, and there are large hazard warning lamps. The spreader disc assembly is reasonably detailed, and it's a plastic part. At the rear of the truck there's a soft rubber flap and the lights are painted. But there are no number plates because this is a generic vehicle rather than one from a fleet. Moving out onto the Cranes Etc Test Glacier and the truck rolls very well. It has a floating rear axle which represents suspension. And at the front it has a typical Conrad steering mechanism which is very good because it has a wide range of movement so the truck can steer through very realistic angles. Another feature of the Actros cab is that it tilts and it can stay posed in a tilted configuration to let you see the engine underneath and it's a nice mechanism which closes with a clunk. Let's have a look at the ploughing end of things and the blade can be angled to push snow to either side and it also has a neatly engineered up and down movement so it can either be down for ploughing or up for transport. Another feature at the back of the model is the protection flap which can be raised in or out of service. And while we're having thoughts about things that can go up and down, the access ladder at the rear can also be lowered and raised. And something else that we can also get up is the spreader. It's actually quite a neat piece of modelling because the spreader disc can also be oscillated from side to side. Another very nice feature of the model is that the whole spreader assembly can be removed from the truck. So to start that off, the first thing to do is to lower the two rear support legs. They are just plastic and they stay in place because of the friction between the plastic and the supports. The spreader equipment can then be removed from the truck, it's quite a firm fit. 
but by pulling it sideways hard enough it comes free and then you can slide it off the truck bed. At this point if you're small enough you can go underneath to fit the extra legs, but if not you have to lift the spreader body up and fit two legs into the underframe. Once that's done the spreader equipment can stand supported on its own legs. But wait there's more, there's another feature of the spreader equipment which is that you can remove the lid. And that lets you see inside the hopper where at the bottom there's a plastic screw and that will be used for driving the road salt to the spreader at the back. But wait there's even more features. The truck body has got drop sides and both sides can be lowered. And this is modelled well because the sides can be made to hang down almost vertically. And when you raise them back up they kind of clip into place so they don't ever drop down just of their own accord. But still there's more. And that's because this is a tipper body so the whole of the body can be tilted up. And it goes to a very good angle and the hydraulic ram is stiff enough that it will hold any angle that you want to set. But just like those shopping channel adverts, wait, there's even more features. And that's because the loader arm is fully functioning so you can pull out the stabiliser beams and lower the pads. They are simple with visible screw threads but they work. And also what's fully functioning is the loader crane. It's actually all pretty stiff but that's a good thing because it will hold any pose that you want to set. As you would expect you can fully rotate the crane and open out the folding part of the boom. The range of movement in the hydraulic rams is very good so you should be able to form some realistic looking poses. There are a couple more things to see which is that there are two telescopic sections which can just be pulled out. And you can also position the hook in one of two places. So now it's time to get onto the real life tests filmed as it happened. And we'll start by lifting up the snowplow blade using the loader crane. There are a couple of things shown here which are not included with the model. One of these is the chains that are being used to lift the snowplow. And the other is the two giant hands that are being used to operate the crane. The next test is to try out the plow on some special cranes etc rock snow. But no expenses spared at cranes etc so we arranged to fly to Switzerland to film in some real snow. But luckily it snowed outside the cranes etc studio before we click the pay button on the air tickets. This is both a very interesting and good model from Conrad. It's well made with a good level of detail including warning graphics applied all round. But where it really excels is in the very high feature count. It can be posed in so many different ways that it's an outstanding model. Mm -hmm.